you there, Carl, big boys. Rainbow runner. Oh, Yeah. What's this ringing? What have we got there? Terry? Long nose emperor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, you. You reckon not a shark, Gary? No, it's not a shark. Fish fish. No! 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 Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Oh, oh, so we're fishing about 100 metres water here, <laughs> which is pretty deep for the top end. So your typical angler is not fit and able to cope with this sort of fishing very easily, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, you got 20 metres, you got 80 to go. <laughs> What do you reckon we got, Shane? We have a tuna. Really long tail. Same big grab, this took like 60, 70 metres, let go, and then that grabbed it straight away. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Now, this is actually quite a common species in northwestern Australia. It's the Papillon Trevally. Uh, first one I've ever seen in the top end of the Northern Territory. You can tell by the very big eyes, very prominent eyes, and down towards the tail, the very prominent crease dark that sticks out. Yeah, that's the bad one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Make me even hungrier. <laughs> the good bass. Oh, <laughs> nice nice good fish. Bat. Oh, that for a great fish. Yeah. Well done. Awesome. Sorry, mate. Thank you. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah. He wants to go back to his rock. That's how he feels. <laughs> Hurt me, Groin. Ah, gone. Get him! coronation cod from the depths. No point putting this fish back, it was too deep from the water we caught it, but uh, it's only small but they're bloody good chewing. Henry got hooked up. Gary. Yeah. 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 Nice fish there, quality reef fish on our few of blue water charters. Oh, what do you do? 
How's the back going, Steve? Yeah, getting doing my exercises, keeping it loose. Did I ring it? It wasn't red. I wasn't red. You keep him busy. Or I get my part. Hook him in the tail. You can see what happens to these fish when they come from the depths. The stomach lining pops and uh, there's no way you can release them, but a beautiful eating fish. Well, this gold band snapper ain't going back anyway. No. You reckon, Carl? Yeah, nice. Good. I like it. I'll dip. A bit of flex in it. Works well. I like it. Yeah. Oh no. And it's got sharp. That was a good. <laughs> Three is the territory flowery. Yeah, we'll check it out. Yeah, the couple of goes at him, did it? The shark? Yeah, yeah. He's coming up and then he grabbed him and then, then the big run. And then I thought I broke off and he had to stand him out. On this sort of charter, red is the special word. Red, red emperor, saddle tail. Sea first, beautiful eating fish, coral trout. The red ones are what everyone prizes. As the fish come up, they see red, they're wrapped. Oh my god, have a love that. Wow. This on soft plastic, just bouncing along the bottom, gulp. Bit of weight here. Oh yeah, saddle tail sea perch, sea perch, red nanning guy. This is really interesting, this tricky snapper, or at least what's left of it, the head, came up with bits of the uh, gulp jigging grub I was using, which actually caught a fish, actually a saddle tail sea perch. But there you go, it actually ate it. This fish was caught by someone else after it had had a go at my bait. Amazing. So that's the uh, Norwest blow or puffer fish, and they're uh, they're not as they're not as common in the Northern Territory as they are in Western Australia. That's why they call them Norwest blowies. And see how it's filling its guts up with air. That's a defence mechanism to make it look bigger. Predatory species, and uh, they're not generally very welcome here. But they've got funny teeth on. They can really cut your line off in two seconds flat. This is Carl Skyring. Carl uh, runs his own business, down Baron Crabs. Uh, and he used to deck you on this boat, maybe driven it. There are a few blue water charters. What a river, that's the best we've seen today. Whoa! Look at the size of that one. You know the thing about the Chinaman fish, certainly in Queensland along the Great Barrier Reef. This fish is known for carrying the toxin Ciguatera, which can be very fatal. Of course, here in the top end, out from Darwin where we're fishing, it's probably quite okay. It all depends on how much coral it has proximity to and whether the toxin for the Ciguatera is in that coral. But no one ever takes a chance and no one really knows just how good eating this fish might be. Gee, they're spectacular fish, aren't they? I wonder how they got their name. Chinaman fish. That's better. Look at that for a fish. Yeah. Golden snapper. And that's a trophy one as well. Some reef fish here today on Arafura Blue. This is our third morning. 
And as you can see, everyone's pretty lively. Straight on a Moses perch tower. Oh, look at that. Just, just as it was hitting the bottom. Nice goldie, mate. Yeah. That's the biggest goldie. Uh, this trip, yep. Yeah. It definitely is. Nice fish. And goldie's a goldie. Nice walk and beautiful eating, eh? Goldie's a goldie. <laughs>